the Orbone Monastery. Good, oh, good, oh, good. We made it. Go the tank. Up your iron well. Up your defiance. Grit, whatever you have to increase your enmity. Right, so that is one of the other tanks. I'm in Alliance B, so I'm going to take the Harpy in the middle. And we're going to tank them facing away from people, of course, but in the same area so that we can AoE them down. And then there's going to be another one that will pop up after these guys are dead. Look away from gaze. There it is. So we're going to find out who actually is going to be highest on threat. I may be the one that is going to be highest on threat. Once the trash is down, we are going to be going in against, um, what is his name? Him. He's an engineer from Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, starts with an R, I want to say. Got some talking going on. No, Mustadio. Okay. Let us engage Mustadio. Mustadio, pay attention to... The direction he is facing energy burst that's going to be raid wide damage if you are tanking you will have a left gun right gun thing arm shot is a tank buster so be ready for it right hand gun so you want to go to left side and then immediately to the other side. Oh. Stop. Doing. Oh, that's going to suck. That. This is not a fight where you want to be fighting for threat on. If you are not main tanking it, please avoid and turn off your tanking stance. It's good to establish some threat, but after you've established it. So this section. Um, you're going to have these guys that'll show up. They're going to do a line across. Deal damage. You're going to target random people. They're going to be hunted down with various shots. Here comes the energy burst again. So we're going to mitigate some of that. Um, pop that. And threat just got passed because... Alright, analysis. 
important. You get this ring around you. It's a 370 degree ring. The boss is going to jump up to a location. And... The ring, you do not want to stack on anybody, and you want to aim the opening towards the boss. If you do not aim the opening towards the boss, you will die. Okay, Mustadio is on me again, because the other tank died. I do not have my... Um... Do not have my hallowed ground anymore. Left hand gun. Crap, I went to the wrong side. I get hit by it. My vulnerability up. He's going to be doing the right one next. Or energy burst next. So whichever one he says, if you're tanking, do the opposite. If you're behind him, you can copy it. Alright, so for this one, he's going to summon two things right there. They are going to come up and they will do a quarter of the map. They will explode for part of the map and as damage. Ballistic missiles. This is going to be um, targeting players. And they have to be away from people and not stacked on anybody. There goes the left hand gun, right hand gun, which to the other side. Arm shot. That's the tank buster, so popping cooldowns. Alright. Now soon he's going to do a combination of the quarter grid and... So this is going to be an okay spot to run and stand. This is going to be safe because it's going to be away from... not going to hit the cross pattern and it's not going to be a spot for the order of the group order of the map people I'm gonna do it again oh we've got there we got there so right over here is going to be where we're going to stand for safety oh crap that is on me That is on me for not seeing that properly. Harder to heal for a little bit. Because of that. Okay, so the red beam, that means you're going to be hunted by rockets. And we've got him disappearing again. He's up there. Do not stack. Aim the opening towards the boss. We're about to lose our stacks of the debuff. Leg shot. Don't recall what leg shot is in this. I think that's grade wide damage. Left hand gun. Right hand gun. Energy burst, that's going to be raid wide damage. We're going to pop a cooldown. We're going to hit the healer with a heal since they just got rezzed. Arm shot, popping cooldowns. And I'm going to toss a heal on myself. Okay, so third one over. Third one, fourth one over. We're good here, it looks like. Yep. And if you can, pull the boss in if there are a lot of people there so that they can get behind and deal some damage. But that is Mustadio down. Take the right path because the left path has a door in front of it. 
Mystic Gloves. Not common that you get uh, two of the same item dropping. So yeah, that is one of the fights that if somebody has established threat on the boss and you're another tank, don't fight for threat because you're going to spin the boss. You don't want to spin that boss. But have you the faith to fulfill his legacy? Agrius. This is a boss with tank changes. So we're going to wait for everybody to get here. Ursat's theory is still behind a little bit. You don't want to be like that Dragoon Maid. If you want to get through something fast, voice it to people and say, hey, can we go a bit faster? Don't start pulling things. Thunder Slash, on me. The frontal cone attack, it will hit everybody behind you. And hey, someone decided to taunt. But for this section, come grab the shield, be facing the boss, activate it. Don't press anything until the attack goes off. Then you can move and start attacking again. Find light. We'll pop a cooldown just in case. That's raid wide damage. Okay. This is another Thunder Slash. We'll pop Sheltron again. Tank Buster, and it hits everybody in front of him. So, be ready for that. I will never understand the people that run towards the tank. It just shows very little raid awareness. Okay. Cleansing Strike. So, this is what I talked... What, what I meant when I was talking about uh, tank swapping. Occasionally, you'll get pulled into this little area. I'm glad we did it first. You want to... Come grab the sword. You have this little thing here. You want to target the thing and then activate it. You don't want them to reach the middle because then they blow up for damage and you get a debuff. So not all of them are killable with this. I think just the ones that have the shields around them are killable with it. The rest of them I'm gonna come kill this one. This one needs to be attacked and killed. Yielded one. That. Yielded one we do. Again. Another one. Alright. And then once everything is dead, we get tossed out. There's another mechanic that happens while you are inside there. Happens out here for the people that aren't part of that. I'm going to come and start regaining my threat on the boss because I lost it all. I might have the most for my party. Alright, we got shields again. Do you want to grab the shield? Activate it for Judgment Blade. Make sure you're facing the boss when you activate it. The dreams of men are fleeting, yet they must be embraced if they are to flourish. Have you the faith to do as much? Alright, so we've got the shield, which we want. Which I got swapped for this. Come and crap. I am going to pop. Cool down want to come and destroy all these shields so we can destroy the shield knight. So ideally, um, the sword knights, you get the shield and when they activate their skill that was right there that I had to pop a cooldown for, 
Um, you want to use the shield for that, but when the shield knight erects its shields, you want to um, use the sword on all of its stuff. I'm going to be here. I'm not going to get threat again, I don't think. Got the shields. Face the boss. Activate the heavenly shield. Go to the next phase so we can show what the actual outside of the uh, Shadow Realm is. Cleansing Flame. Cleansing Flame is going to target multiple players. You want to move away from each other, and sometimes you just have to stop moving because... Alright, here it is. Cleansing Strike. You can still damage the boss right now, and I recommend doing so. But, um, one group is going to be... Um, locked in prisons, and one group is going to be able to run around and break people out of the prisons. So, once everybody is out, you just want to sit there and DPS the boss. Wait for the attacks to go off. Yeah, you have threat. Not close to taking threat, but you have threat. Alright, so this means they are coming out soon. Better to hit by just one than by two. So if you have to get hit by something, make sure you only get hit by one. Boss. Should be done. Like so. I leave you now to your quest. My Ovelia awaits. Okay. Crash time again. So, this trash teaches some of the next boss. Come on. Well, I shouldn't say it teaches some of the next boss. You need to have four people on each stand, or the guy summons enemies. Like so. And then one of the Hanks has to go pick it up, and people DPS it down, and it just makes the trash go slower. But, nice um, way of illustrating what actually happens in this fight. If you don't step on the uh, pads, you will also send out three bolts. Different directions at various players, and you don't want to be standing, especially if they stack like that first set had two that were stacked. Alright, so this next fight is going to be a three tank fight. And I will explain the abilities as they go out. Because it's a lot to take in, and we usually don't get towards the end of one mechanic.
We've actually got some pretty low DPS today, so it's a good possibility we'll make it to, uh, to some of the phases that we normally don't. Normally, well, lately, the boss has been getting to, um, the boss will die when the, uh, the frost phase starts. So, A to the left, B in the middle, C to the right. This is where the game will place you when you leave uh, certain places. So, the boss has a rush in and a back out mechanic. And boss is pulled. So it doesn't matter which tank is uh, highest on threat here. But with the way things have been going, it's going to be me. Cleansing Strike. Puts Doom on everybody. The only way to get rid of it is to heal to full. I'm going to toss out a few heals just to be on the safe side. Holy Sword. Holy Sword. He's going to target three platforms with this Holy Sword. You don't want to be on the platforms because it can... Okay, this is the getaway. Back away. You can tell when the swords are Shadow Blade, you do not want to drop this in the group. You want to go back and drop it somewhere away from people. Later, there were going to be two of those. You want to drop one there and then one back here. B has the two circles to the sides. Crush Elm, this needs to be cleansed. If it's not cleansed, I'm going to take a lot of damage. That is something that the healers or bards need to pay attention to. Um, if you see the Crush Helm going out, um, get ready to cleanse the tank. Holy Sword, this one you go in for because the swords are in the ground. Get out. Do not like the fact that both of our healers are so low in health. Alright, this one. You need three people per circle. You do not have three people in each circle. Massive damage goes out. And I mean extremely massive. In even debuff, it can wipe. Rush weapon. Rush weapon is a um, sewing needle attack. It goes out and it chases you. You don't keep moving, you will get caught and you will die. Alright, we have made it to the second phase. Run to the wall, grab your target, and start beating the crap out of it. These guys will target players in the group randomly. Each one will not target another alliance group unless one alliance group is dead. Um, Hello Bolt is going to be targeted on Emma. Emma is going to run away, which is not what you want to do. Get to the edge of the circle because it's going to go twice. And then you want to be ready for the stack. Get on the stack. A lot of damage going out. What is this? Hallowed Bolt. Hallowed Bolt is going to be going on them. So it's going to be the opposite. It's going to be a ring and then point blank AoE. And we've got somebody that is being marked with that. They need to get away from the party because it's a line attack. We're going to heal them. Okay. Okay, that's what happens when they die. Okay. Come here. Go Divine Veil. And then we're gonna pop Passage of Arms. Don't 
don't know if that actually did anything to help. But, um, yeah, here we are again. Holy sword. There will be a variation now that we've made it past the middle point. He's going to do a holy sword. And he's going to lay them out in an order. That's... That was on me. That was me being stupid. I was waiting for him to move and I didn't realize that was the point blank AoE instead of the ring. Rush weapon is going out, so they need to keep moving. Keep running, my friend. Keep running. Crush Helm is going out at the same time, so I am going to pop cooldowns to stay alive. Crush. Okay, this is the one we go in. Heal Ursatz. Get back on the boss. This is the one that I'm thinking of. But we want to go and run over here. Empty soul. The only time that you really leave your spot. As soon as the attack goes off, you can move to the next one. Not recommended that you try to split the groups because. This is going to be a wipe if we do not get our healers up. Even the strongest of shields cannot defend the weakest of wills. A yep. Hesitation Crush armor. A lifetime yep. Of pain. This is going to be a wipe. The reason it's going to be a wipe is um, there aren't going to be enough players to do certain mechanics. Why do we only have... Two bar limit break. Oh, you lose your limit break when everybody dies. You will find my defenses quite impenetrable. This is going to be a wipe. Yeah. So this is something that happens. And this is the spot where it's going to be the wipe because there's not enough people to stand on all the places and you will see how much damage gets dealt. They probably pop living death. The no. screams of ruin rise above the storm's discord. Shudder not in her endless cold. Okay. Oh. It happens. I was kind of expecting it to happen on this boss or the last boss. It'll probably happen on the last boss. Yeah, as somebody pointed out in chat, this is the nerfed version of this boss. Alright. Toss out a ready check. Make sure everybody's here. And somebody pulls. The hearts of men are black with corruption. And must needs be cleansed. Okay, there goes the doom. And toss Divine Veil up. Just to give us a nice little bonus shield. To the skies and and I'm gonna the heal myself. To the current of life we succumb. 
It's this is run in. Swift and final. It's bite as cold as steel. Open your eyes to the darkness and drown in its loveless embrace. The gods will not be. Hey, watching. thanks for the raid. I am currently in the middle of a fight that I'm explaining. This needs to be cleansed off me. If it's not cleansed off me, I gotta pop cooldowns. Though, of course, I gotta pop cooldowns because nobody cleanses. It's okay. Thank you for the raid. I am currently focusing on this fight. We've wiped on this boss once. I'm explaining the fight as we're going through. He's curling up for point blank AoE, so we run away from it. Go back in. Continue fighting. Beating the boss down. Thank you for the raid ultimate. Duskblade. You need three people on each one of these spots all the way around. There are six spots total, meaning 18 players total. If you don't, you take massive damage from the Duskblade. We're going to be getting the Crush weapon soon, I believe it is. Yes. So they are going to want to keep running. Because it's going to be a sewing needle attack that chases them and they need to keep running, that is a dead healer. Because they did not keep running. Transition phase right here. But we get this coming up. We got the boss. I'm going to do a point blank thing, try to hit it. Get a couple shield lobs to establish threat. Alright, with this trash... You gotta burn it down as fast as you can. He's gonna target one player with a skill. Hallowed Bolt. He's gonna toss out a bolt that... You know, that's a bit far away for most of the players. It's gonna do a ring and then a point-blank AoE, or it's just going to do a ring. Or it's just gonna do a point-blank then a ring. It, it um, alternates. just want to focus getting your guy down. As soon as your guy is down, you can go and help others. That group is doing very well. I'll load Bolt again. Oh. So we get to stand here. Goes off and then move. If that person that gets marked with the purple schedule needs to run away from the group. Oh. Yeah. Heal everybody up. I should not have stopped that heal because I didn't realize a dot went out on people. So, get them up, get them healed. And as soon as we are out here, reposition yourself after you get out of that. The boss is going to cast um, everyone at 1 HP Doom again. Right? Come, show me no, the Holy more. Sword. I got thrown off by the by the raid. Thank you for the raid. Escape I appreciate it. Holy so Sword. Swords are in the ground, so you want to go and get close to the boss. It's a ring attack. Run out. Were you expecting a Rush weapon. Rust? Person that gets that needs to run and keep running. You will find my defenses quite keep running. Oh, hello ground. A piteous display. Okay, run away from the boss. This is going to be a point blank AoE. We're doing a lot better this time. GG Holy Sword. This is the progressive one. So we are fine where we are. So we can just stay where we're at. Goes one, two, three. <laughs> and now we get the um, cleansing strike. Yes. This is where we need to get heals out on people. I'm going to try to get the others up. First, 
Even the strongest of shields cannot defend the weakest of wills. There we go. Crush armor is going out. This is a, something that the tank cannot get. So, if you are not the tank, you want to run and take one stack of crush armor each time it goes out. If the tank gets it, um, it's pretty much tank is dead. Because the boss is going to do an attack at the very end against the tanks that does massive damage. Alright, so we've got this again. So, if you get it this time, you want to run to the back of the platform if you can. You don't want these overlapping. Because if they expand into each other, they explode and deal damage. Okay, we got that going out, so I'm popping cooldowns. Crush Helm. Alright, we got Dusk Blade coming out again. Yeah, we had some uh, go off. We've got three on each. Dust blade still went out and did pretty decent damage. Look behind you and see which one has the ice on it. Try to get to the one with the ice on it and kill the ice because the ice will explode and deal raid wide damage to everybody. You don't want to stand on the ice because you will be taking damage from the ice. I'm wondering why the healers aren't healing us. Especially since the tank keeps taking damage during that phase. Alright. So we've got some of the uh, limit breaks going out. Holy sword. This one, you just move over and... That is the boss down. And, the skies cleared. It is time I and that was the Thunder God Sid. Welcome in, Raiders. I apologize for not welcoming you better right off the bat, but as you can see, I was um, indisposed. I'm not just tanking, I'm also explaining the fights, so it's kind of... Uh, yeah, we'll watch the cutscene. Unless storyline happens, we will watch cutscene. And storyline happens. I'm trying not to show any storyline for this because I want players to be able to enjoy um, the storyline on their own. This is mainly for the fights, um, to teach the fights. And we had one wipe in there, so I had to explain that fight a second time. This fight is split into two halves. We're going to wait for people to get out of the um, storyline. We have somebody that exited. Oh yeah, the stream has been going really well. I don't consider the wipe a, uh, a bad thing. This is a learning demonstration. So, oh, the maid is going to pull again. You shall rue the day you raised your eyes to the heavens. And I just called them out for face pulling. Because that is not something that you want to do when people are stuck in watching cutscenes. So this boss is going to split the area into multiple places. Um, you kind of don't want everybody to be in the same spot, because if that happens, then people die. There are multiple AoEs that will go off on the ground. Um, Your very soul shall not okay, pay attention in this spot. There are going to be ice crystals that are dropping from the ceiling. They get summoned in these little red spots. And you want to be standing in the one spot that they do not intersect at. So... They will each set off rays in the cardinal directions.
Demi Aquarius, this is going to be summoning water. As I said earlier in one of the other raids, this is the water bearer. Oh, summons these floating things. We'll deal damage if you get near them. They move kind of sporadically, so watch out. Try to avoid them if you can. Demi Ares, this is going to pull out um, Ram, which is the time stop person. So keep an eye on the ground. Pay attention. You got a slow moving one, you want to be standing near a fast moving one. And then you move over. So this is a culmination of every, uh, well not every fight, but many of the bosses from the previous raids. Demi Leo is coming next, which is going to be the towers. So pay attention, two towers will get raised. Look at where they get cut. And then move accordingly so you don't get hit by the falling towers. And... Okay, I thought I saw a mechanic that I was not seeing before. We're good. Alright. We are entering second phase of the first half of this boss. Slow to fast. Pay attention to the... Bosses. If you get it, something on your head, stack on somebody else that has one. If you don't, you get knocked into the air. You have the um, epicenter AoE that hits. This guy jumps to the side, be on the side that does not have the flaming blade on it. A lot to pay attention to, a lot to dodge. Once they are taken care of, once you make it through this section, if you can make it through this section, um, we have a bit of storyline to go through. So, yes, you, you were playing Pokemon trading card game and got your butt kicked. Sorry to hear that. But glad you're here. I'm glad your stream went well. So these guys are going to create a force field. And what Simmer you want to do... ...is let the angel Eos. pontificate for a bit. There is going to be... ...continuous damage doing, done doing this. So you want to continuously you heal the group. And the boss is going to poke its head through the shield. And you unload everything you can onto the head of this boss. Because if the barrier strength reaches zero before the Runation dies, then you lose the barrier and you don't make it to the next phase. I am the only so, God. if we wipe from this point on, we are going to be coming to the second phase of this fight. If you wipe at this part, which hopefully you don't, um, you don't make it to the second phase, you gotta start the entire phase over again. It's, um, back in the day when this was current content, that was difficult to deal with. Alright, boss is gonna drop down. Get where? You still have these cardinal spots on the ground, crosses. So, um, it's going to target whoever had the highest threat before, which was our little dancer tank. As another tank, things that we have to pay attention to. Okay. Wind is blowing here. You can see the lines going to the right. It's going to move the demons, so you do not want to be standing on the lines if there's wind going on. Pay attention to the wind lines. They are very apparent if you are looking for them. If you're not looking for them, you will miss them. Your very soul shall not escape. Grand Cross. Alright, so pay attention again. We have the wind going. Oh crap, I've gotta go all the way over there. I'm gonna get hit by 
one, I think. The only safe square. Yep. Ouch. Ouch and a half. Of the abyss, from ink of black is night. That's summoning the ring. Yep. So, these little symbols are going to appear on the outside. One person needs to be at each spot. Following it around, because... They're going to be angels that fall from the sky and try to deal damage. And I am now tanking. So I just popped my... I am invincible. Pull down. Alright, we've got traps that have been set down on the ground. Do not run over these blue spots. They are going to pulse. You want to avoid them as the other AoEs go out. You've got some people that get rooted by various things. Alright, now that we are tanking, we're going to try to heal people as well. The more we can keep people alive, the better. Alright, boss is going to appear here. We're going to get knocked back. Take a look at the map and you want to move through this and avoid the enemies if you get the dominoes on your head you want to stop moving before it goes off you cannot use any skills until you reach this zone right here and then once you get here you can heal um you can do what you need to do to prevent yourself and then you can beat the boss um if you get one of these rings you do not want to be standing in around the boss either. You want to run out and then run back in if you can. Alright, we have got a tri-directional tri tri beam AoE. It'll explode in those three directions. You want to not be standing in those three directions. If you get it, you want to run out away from people. I run through the boss to turn it around. All right, we've got the Ring of Angels again. So, the Angels are going to be coming down. If there's not somebody standing on all those points, they're going to deal damage to everyone. And you can see Your people caught the Angels and deflected them. Grand Cross life. again. We've got Wind going to the left now. So all of the Icicles are going to be moved to the left. One, meaning this is going to be the safe spot. Yep, that was the safe spot. I see it now, in you. Demi Virgo is coming out now. We do not have the wind with this one, I don't think, so we stand where we're supposed to. And I get killed because of AoEs. And just rinse and repeat after that. I am your mother. And that is the Orbone Monastery. I think we did pretty good. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it informative. If you want to see more Final Fantasy XIV videos, please like, follow, and subscribe. The usual YouTube stuff. To catch me live, check out my Twitch. Link in the description. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.